What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We just got in a uh, dual order from Tackle Warehouse. For some reason they had to send two big boxes. I think one from Georgia and one from California. Uh, so I'm going to open up one box, see what's in there because I don't know what they put in one box and what they put in the other. But I'm getting ready for the spring and smallmouth season so we had to order some stuff just to kind of fill some holes in the arsenal and just make some restock stuff so let's see what's in box numero uno this looks like the juice box let's see got in a ride sock six and a half footer in red for my caden got in a graphite one for my ecstasy and got in a blue one for my champion um, seven footer, six and a half, six and a half receipt, which I need to keep for my hooks. Let's see what else I got. Uh, I got a 25 pack of the missile D bombs. I needed some restock on green pumpkin. Uh, just a great big trailer, Texas rig trailer, uh, for the price. I think they retail for like 15 bucks, uh, for 25 of them. So and it cuts down on all plastic, plastic bags. Um, you just get one big bag instead of a bunch of little bags. I also got in the Bruiser Flash. Bruiser Flash color. It is just black and blue. Great color there. I need to restock on those because it's been raining for like three weeks, it seems like. We're supposed to get a massive storm tomorrow, so everything's been dirtied up. So I wanted some dirty water color there. Got in some Biospawn Exo Stick and Green Pumpkin. I don't throw these weightless. I throw them for smallmouth on the Ned, on the Omega Slayer Ned Head. I usually chop these up into three different parts. I usually go one here and one there and just screw them onto the Ned Head and use them as my Ned Rig because um, I can go through just this one pack really in like two years on the screw lock so um just needed a couple more i also throw my shaky heads a lot so just need to restock on the exo sticks what else i get here some x zone tubes i think this is the 3.75 3.75 tube in beetle juice it's like a black uh i don't even know what that is black brown with like red and green flake this should be a really good color for up north gobies here a little bit dirtier waters a little bit darker color to it um i usually throw a quarter ounce um tube hook on it so that's a restock on those that's just a new color that i don't have what else do i have here Spark Shads. I got in a couple Spark Shads on this one. Uh, so weird. They just randomly put in the order in different boxes. Huh. So I got in some three inch Spark Shads. This is the Neon Pepper. Um, I actually got like five or six of those. So they must be in the other box. Hopefully. And then I got some of the Okashura Screw Heads. An eighth number three hooks three out hooks um to match with these because these are smallmouth killers uh, my buddy absolutely destroyed them last year on the uh, spark shed okshuras on the flats and all that kind of stuff so this year we're going up it looks like it's two or three weeks behind where we were last year so hopefully it's just full out pre-spawn instead of spawn because um, last year we bed fished for about seven days um because we were already there at the same time, but they already had a wave of, of spawners done in the back flats, and then we hit the second wave on the main the main lake. So got some of those in. Um, got some eight pound cigar tatsu for the BFS light stuff. This is insanely good line. It's probably the best line out there. Yes, it's really expensive, but it's super strong. It's super smooth. It doesn't coil as bad. It's got the double extruded to it, so it's got a 
um, like an inner core, soft inner core with the tough outer core, like a Brazex, but it's just a step higher than that. And it's just smooth. Got some duos. These are the five A's in chrome gill or prism gill. Amazing crankbaits. They got the weight transfer system, the magnet weight transfer system. So when you cast it, it snaps it down and rolls it back. Great hooks as well. Oh, got another pack sliding in here. Of the Okashura screw heads, eighth ounce as well. These are the eights. This is the black head. These were like a white with a little bit of green on top. I just picked up a couple heads of each. And then I got, um, all right, so I'm gonna bust this guy open. So my buddy down in Texas swears by this frog. I haven't thrown it yet. This is the Strike King Pad Perch. The Pad Perch. This is the Strike King Pad Perch. Um, it looks really durable. I mean, this stuff right here looks like it's pretty much indestructible. This is really hard silicone or rubber. Um, it's pretty soft. It's not bad. Looks like it's got the, the drain out the back here. It's always nice. Um, looks like it's got the weight here, which again is great. Hopefully that stays in and doesn't pop out. Use it or not glued. Um, and then it's got the nice little uh, attachment here for your hook. So... I'm hoping it's a good frog. He swears by it. He absolutely loves it. So I picked up a white one. I think I might have picked up another color. But again, I don't know what else I ordered. Uh, <laughs> so that is the Pad Perch. Nice little bait. Uh, I won't be using it. I might be using it actually pretty soon if it stays this warm. And then I ended up getting a ton of hooks. A bunch of DMCs. A ton of my hooks here. So... Um, I probably got, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 packs of these. Use them on all my baits. And then I reuse the uh, plastic containers here to put my baits in, like my white baits and stuff, just because I hate wasting necessary stuff. So I can reuse it. So if you order a wake bait, you get them in that box. So that's it for box number one. Uh, that's a pretty good haul. I'm going to start putting stuff away and opening these up. Start getting rid of some of this trash. So much plastic this stuff comes in but that is it guys smash it up i'll open up the next box here in a little bit and then i'll probably do an install on an item that i got in so we'll talk to you guys later appreciate you guys have a good one peace